Hello, this is Lloyd Tran. I'm the director of the California Institute of Nanotechnologies. The question is raised about uh, what can nanotechnology use in the field of developing artificial intelligence. Well, this is a exciting, uh, exciting field because nanotechnology is the ability to combine the knowledge of uh, physics, chemistry, engineering, computer science together and integrate knowledge to develop a better software, a better interaction between uh, human and machine and how the machine can be computerized, can be programmable to manipulate, to imitate the way we think. And that's a real challenge. I think with the uh, advent of uh, nanotechnologies, work in conjunction with the software, the advanced computer technologies, one can develop a new thinking, the new way of understanding how, first of all, how our brain works and how we can manipulate it. And then we can develop the artificial machines, machinery that can replicate itself by processing things in a very fast speed, at the same time can serve a very simple uh, issue as much as have its own intelligence per se to self-replicate it. Uh, there are many uh, novels today like uh, the book of um, Prey by Michael Richton talk about a situation when a nanotechnology goes astray and the microbot happen to replicate itself and make decisions itself and they call it disaster of, uh, of the experiment that could cause tremendous harm to society. So one hand, nanotechnology is, is a powerful tool. It's up to us how to use it. Surely it can have a tremendous impact to the way we design, we understand, and we can manipulate. At the same time, we can replicate the way we think. So I'm sure uh, nanotechnologies and uh, artificial intelligence will be an exciting field for further research and development. This is Lloyd Tran with the California Institute of Nanotechnology.